This video will cover how to build a text-to-speech voice call using PHP and Slim as the web application framework. With under 30 lines of code, your application will be able to receive inbound calls and convert a string into a response over the phone. When Vonage receives a call on a number that you're renting, a HTTP request is made to URL, specifically a webhook that you defined that contains all of the information needed to receive and respond to the call. This is commonly called the answer URL. In this tutorial, when the call is made to your number, your answer URL will return three key bits of information. The type of action, talk, the voice name, and the text that the voice will return. It is time to set up the PHP server, have Ngrok expose this PHP server to the world, and create a Vonage application. Open your first terminal and run the command php Dash capital, capital S, localhost 8000 to start a new web server on localhost and the port 8000. For this tutorial to, to work, your code needs to be exposed to the internet. So open up a new terminal tab with a plus and run ngrok http 8000. Make note of this ngrok URL as this will be used in the next step for creating a Vonage application. Your Vonage application will need voice capabilities. To create this application, run the following command. Nextmo, app, colon create, and then the, text, the name of this text-to-speech application. We're going to need a voice capability, so dash dash capabilities equals voice. And then we're going to need two endpoints, the voice answer URL and the voice event URL. We won't be using the voice event URL. However, it is required, otherwise your server will throw errors. So how you build this, these URLs is your ngrok URL slash webhooks slash answer or slash event. And then at the end, do dash dash key file equals private key. As you can see, a private key has been generated. We have an application ID, and these are key bits of information we're going to use later. So to, to continue, we're going to need to buy a Nextmo number. For this example, I'm buying a US country code mobile number. However, we do cover up many other countries as well. The output will show our new number. This is another key bit of information. To, to, to proceed, we need to create a to link the application and the number together. So type next my link app. The first parameter is your number and the second is your application ID. We have now created a Nextmo application and linked a mobile number to it, ready for the next step. Firstly, you're going to install four libraries that are used through this tutorial. Slim, the PHP framework, Vonage Client for the voice calls, Slim's PSR7, and Guzzle for the API request. To install the four libraries, run the following composer command. Once you run this command, you will see a composer.json file has been created. Once the composer install is completed, a composer.lock file will be created and a vendor directory. Now, create a new index.php file, which will be where we store our code. Within our new index.php file, we're going to initialize the slim framework code. So we start off with opening brackets of PHP, and then we're going to import uh, the app factory from the slim namespace. 
We then also need to require the our auto load the PHP file in order to use the third party libraries. And then we go to in initialize the app. So app equals app factory create. And finally, we will use app run. On each phone calls are controlled using next mode call control objects or NCCOs. An NCCO defines a list of actions for the Vonage system to follow when a call gets handled. There are many different actions available, such as connecting a call to another number, recording a call, creating a conference call, or generating a text to speech message, which is our aim in this tutorial. To start off with, we're going to need to create a webhooks answer endpoint within our Slim project. To start to do this, we need to import uh, PSR's seven, a server request interface and response interface. We use the alias request and response, and then we need to create the webhook. To do this, before we run app run, we need uh, to input a get request. So use app dash get, and then we put the endpoint end URL, which is webhooks answer. And within here, we, we're going to set a function which has two parameters, the request and the response. Within this function, to start with, we're going to return the response. And within the res response, we're going to define the content type as application JSON. Now, within this function, we're going to create an NCCO object and return it in our new endpoint. So to begin with, we need to have uh, an array called NCCO and we need a, another array row within this array. And at this point in the array, we need three new fields. One is called action, which will be to talk. The second is the voice name that you hear on the phone, which we will use our example as Amy. And then we're gonna use the text, which will be for this example, hello, you've been connected to the Vonage text to speech YouTube tutorial. Right now, this isn't returned. So we're going to return this as the body of the response. So if we type response, get body, and then we're going to write, write to this body. So replace whatever the body currently has, which is nothing anyway. We're going to put JSON encode and NCCO. So we're going to JSON encode our array in order for the response to be JSON. It's now time to test our endpoint. So if we go to our browser, enter our endpoint URL and then forward slash webhooks forward slash answer, press return. You will see an array encoded in JSON containing the information that we returned with our webhook. In order to ensure that we don't get bombarded with logs for this example, we're going to add us a new endpoint, which is webhook slash defense. We don't actually use this for the tutorial, but you will get errors in your log. So if you type app dash get, and then the event URL, which is webhook slash event. And again, we have a function with two parameters, request and response. Finally, we're just we're going to return response. We're now going to make an endpoint that triggers a phone call to the defined number in the URL. In our index.php, above app run, add a new function. This will again be a get request and the URL will be forward slash make call slash number within curly brackets. This is going to be used as an argument in our array. Again, this will be a function and we'll use a request and response parameters. However, we will have a new parameter called args, which is an array. This is how we retrieve that number. So within our function, we're going to create a key pair using the private key and our application ID. Remember you can retrieve your application ID from the third terminal when you created the application ID. So if you scroll up a little bit, 
you will see where you've created your application. Next, initialize the next mode client object with the key pair being passed as a construct. Now it's time to make the call. This uses client, calls, create, and within this we have an array. The first element in the array is to, the second is from, and the third is the answer URL, which will be an array containing your ngrok URL slash webhook slash answer. You can create phone calls to multiple people at the same time with the same call. So back within two, we create and another array field which is for our one phone call and within here we have the key of type and the value of phone another key of number and the value of args number and this call this retrieves the number from the url that we've passed in when we call this endpoint as there can only be one from it when making a phone call we are going to populate this field again with type and phone as value and another key of number and the value as your voltage number the number you bought using that CLI previously so if you go back to your terminal you'll see there and so copy and paste that in and then finally updating the answer URL with your ngrok URL slash webhook slash answer if you need to retrieve the webhook URL you can go back to ngrok tab and copy and paste it Remember this needs to be within quotes. And then finally within this endpoint, just return response. It's now time to test your code. So if you go to your browser, Type in your ngrok URL and then forward slash make call, forward slash your phone number. And then press return. It will make the request and you will receive the phone call. Same response is a little bit boring. So let's update the webhooks answer endpoint to use dynamic NCCOs based on a sentence from a third party API. To do this, find your webhooks answer endpoint. And then within here, add client equals new guzzle HTTP client. And then on the next line, API response equals JSON decode client get and then within this url this is uh, a joke url so if we do http api.icmdb.com slash jokes slash random and then the parameters at the end of the url is limit to nerdy and then get body next we need to update our text to api response value joke now if you check your answer URL, and if you wish to make hit the make call endpoint again to your number, you will hear a random joke that changes on each request. If you want to learn more about what is possible with outbound voice calls and how you can make them more complex by adding features such as recording audio or connecting multiple callers together, you can learn about these actions in the NCCO reference link below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. We're more than happy to help.